Hello, and welcome to this Poetry Out Loud coaching session. My name is Conrad Cecil, actor, director, and poetry reader, artist in residence for Nevada County Arts Council, California, and member of Beyond Baroque Literary Arts Center in Venice, California. In this video, you'll hear the participant give two recitals, one at the beginning and one at the end. In between, we'll work together to improve the level of the performance, bearing in mind the criteria that the judges use, such as evidence of understanding, dramatic appropriateness, physical presence, voice and articulation, and of course, accuracy. All these contribute towards the final overall performance. Below you'll see the full text of the poem and a link to the Poetry Out Loud website with the full database of current poems. So, let's get started. Hello, Margot. Hello, Conrad. Uh, what poem have you got for us today? Well, the poem is called Poem, and it's by Jory Graham. The earth said, remember me. The earth said, don't let go. Said it one day when I was accidentally listening. I heard it. I felt it like temperature. Said all in a whisper, build tomorrow, make right, be fall. You are not free. Other scenes are not taking place. Time is not filled. Time is not late. There is a thing the emptiness needs, as you need emptiness. It shrinks from light, again and again, although all things are present. A fact a day, a bird that warps, the arithmetic of perfection with its arc, passing again and again in the evening wind, in the prevailing air. Making no mistake, your indifference is your principal beauty, the mind says all the time. I hear it. I hear it everywhere. The earth said, remember me. I am the earth, it said. Remember me. Uh, that was very nice. Just a couple of accuracy things. All right, what is this poem about? I think it's about appreciating the earth. Mm -hmm. And I think um, even more than just at an environmental scale, I think it's about appreciating the moment you're in. The thing of, with a poem like this is that it's deceptively simple. Right. So it looks like, you know, very simple language, mostly. Three word lines, things like that. Mm -hmm. You articulate very well, it's really clear. This. But I think that the meaning of the poem is much more elusive than it looks. And that's really what we've got to get. The word poem in Greek means a thing made, like a pot or a, I mean like a thing, you know, or a book or an actual thing made. Mm -hmm. And um, it comes from the root word to make. So this poem is like a kind of artifact and it's somehow you're shaping it out of the earth like a clay pot. Let's hear the first thought. The earth said, remember me. The earth said, don't let go. Said it one day when I was accidentally listening. I heard it. I felt it like temperature. All said in a whisper. Uh, at the moment, the way, what I'm hearing when you're doing this poem is it's a lot of quite nice, almost philosophical lines. Mm -hmm. But I'm not getting any images yet. Not a story. Yeah. Actually, with the birds, I get an image. And I think you'll get, you've okay. got that really nicely. But at the beginning, I'm not getting an image. It's not so much a story, because I don't say there's a story, but, you know, when you put your hands into the soil, mm -hmm. how does it feel? For example, on a spring day when it's warm and the soil is not too dry yet from summer, mm. how does that feel? feels nice. Yeah. But are you trying to see, like, the warmth? Yeah, it's Like trying warm. to feel it? It feels nice. It's very pleasant. Right. But maybe... If you think of that image of gardening on a spring afternoon and your hands plunged into the earth, almost up to the elbows, and now say the poem. The earth said, remember me. The earth said, don't let go. Said it one day when I was accidentally listening. I heard it. I felt it like temperature. 
all said in a whisper, build tomorrow. Okay, I think you're still rushing the beginning. I feel your attention is more, but I feel you're not telling me. Mm. And you've come back from this experience and you need to tell other people about it and okay. be much more definite about it. Create the pot. Yeah. Create the artifact. Yeah. Yeah, and tell us what the earth communicated to you. Mm -hmm. That first section until all said in a whisper is your experience. And in fact, you're right, it is telling a story when you say one day. One but day. it's telling a story mm -hmm. in the sense that, you know what happened to me this morning? I found a gemstone in the street. Right. It was blue. When I say image, I mean something really strong that you give me. It's interesting because when you first did the poem, you were very much telling me and then now we're working on it you're kind of all over here so keep rooted i feel like i'm trying to find it but i see okay. what you mean all said in a whisper build tomorrow make right before okay keep going you are not free other scenes are not taking place good time is not filled time is not late there is a thing that emptiness needs, as you need emptiness. All right, so let's stop there. Okay. There's a lot of instructions there. Right. These are the instructions given by who? Given by the earth. Good. Mm. And you're sharing them with me, mm -hmm. or with the audience around me. Mm -hmm. So really lay it out and in a very earthy way. Like, it's a fact, like a stone is a fact. There's okay. no... It's not like, hmm, maybe it's a stone. No, it's a stone. It's the earth. Yeah. It's right there. Mm -hmm. And keep it really simple and direct, like a stone. Okay. Other scenes are not taking. That one is confusing to me. So, good. Right, because other scenes are not taking. It's, it's sort of... It feels like she's coming away from the earth and talking about herself. That's how I took it. Kind of like she's contemplating about how... What the earth is saying is right, but other scenes are not taking this must be right. But if it falls under the instructions, I'm not quite sure what it means. Well, it's not necessarily an instruction here. It's just a fact. It's ex the earth is explaining to you that you are not as free as you think, but you're here on the earth. Other scenes are not taking place. Other scenes are not taking place. Because you maybe, what is your head full of while you're gardening? Oh, thoughts and imagination. About what, for example? About Oh, Are example. you asking? You're asking? Yeah, I'm asking you. What, for, give me an example of what happened. What like things, things that you have to do or things that are maybe still kind of twisted inside of you. Maybe like woes, you know? Right. <laughs> okay. Or maybe um, what your best friend is doing and you wish you were doing with them. Right. Things that you can't really change. Yes, and, and things that aren't here. Things that are not here. So that's what the earth is saying to you. Mm -hmm. You are not free. Go from there. You are not free. Other scenes are not taking place. I hear it now. Yeah. Other scenes are not taking place. It's just in your head. Right. Nothing else exists except this moment. Right. Okay. Wow. It's so interesting, this poem, I chose it kind of randomly, but it's kind of connecting to my life in a very odd way. Wow. Yeah. Nice. It's nice. I like that. It Don't we need emptiness in order to breathe out? To mm -hmm. have a bit of space around? Mm -hmm. To breathe. The emptiness also needs something. And the way it's said, it shrinks from light, as if it's a creature. It's like... Yes. You're right. What does it need? It shrinks from light again and again, although all things are present. All said in a whisper, build tomorrow, Make right befall. You are not free. Other scenes are not taking place. Time is not filled. Time is not late. There is a thing the emptiness needs as you need emptiness. It shrinks from light again and again, although all things are present. Very good, Margot. Very good. So, and it's good because you've got the sense now of uh, those negatives which are just, you know the way when you get good advice sometimes some of them are negatives, mm -hmm. like that's no good, that's no good, 
but you can. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you've got that now, and the rhythm takes care of itself, you see. Right. So now I'm going to have you do it one more time. Okay. And see the bird. And you can look where you like. Okay. Um, but I just, I just don't want you to do like acting a bird, like a bird. <laughs> if you see it there, that's fine to look up, but only if you see it. Otherwise, you know, I can say, look, I saw this horse today. It's I incredible. see the horse. Yeah, I see the horse. But I don't say, I saw this horse. Right? <laughs> Just take this as an exercise to see each image. And don't allow yourself to speak before you see it. Don't allow the recitation to go ahead of you. Like the words, blah, 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 blah. Just see the image. You can stop and wait until you've got it. And then express it. Because it's a very joyful poem, actually. Yeah. It's a poem about wonder. Yeah. It is. It's a poem about the, the wonder of the earth, of the natural world. Of and also, she's going through it with curiosity. Exactly. She's going through it. She's going through it again. So. Yes. Yeah. Curiosity and discovery. Yes. You know, these are all new things. Yes. Like, and so, wow. Actually, the earth is telling us stuff. And it can even be like if you're talking to someone, you know how you are reacting. Yes. In that kind of sense of like, yes. expressionally being like. Yes. This is what the earth told yes. me. Yes. A fact a day. A bird that warps. The arithmetic of perfection with its arc passing again and again in the evening air, in the prevailing wind, making no mistake. The recitation was much better. I okay. mean, it was, it was really good. Mm -hmm. You know, physical presence is essentially, more, for me, it's more about focus than about acting, this is not an acting exercise. Uh, so when they, when they look for physical presence and even dramatic appropriateness, it's more about the way you are connected to the poem. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we talked about that before with like, you don't have to see the bird and things. Right, visualize. You see it in your mind's eye. Mm -hmm. And then if you see it, you may or may not make a gesture. It doesn't matter because you're focused on it. Poem by Jerry Graham. The earth said, remember me. The earth said, don't let go. Said it one day when I was accidentally listening. I heard it. I felt it like temperature. All said in a whisper, build tomorrow, make right befall. You are not free. Other scenes are not taking place. Time is not filled, time is not late. There is a thing the emptiness needs, as you need emptiness. It shrinks from light again and again, although all things are present. A fact a day, a bird that warps the arithmetic of perfection with its arc, passing again and again in the evening air, in the prevailing wind, making no mistake. Your indifference is your principal beauty. The mind says all the time. I hear it. I hear it everywhere. The earth said, remember me. I am the earth, it said. Remember me.